This is DJI Pocket 3. I converted my DJI Pocket 3 to wireless HDMI. It is received by this TV. Of course, it can also be connected to a broadcast video switcher. This is the Atom Mini Pro. It has sound. Hello. Hello. No problem. No problem. DJI Pocket 3 becomes wireless HDMI. Connect to a TV or video switcher. If you convert DJI Pocket 3 to portrait mode, this is what it looks like when you convert to HDMI. There will be a problem of black bars on the left and right here. What you expect to want should be full screen. It's like this. You see, it's turned into a hog screen. The full screen presentation is on the TV. I just have to turn the TV to 90 degrees. It's like this. I can also connect the live broadcast switcher. Atom Mini Pro. Turn on the sound. Hello. Hello. No problem. No problem. Full screen. We are going to tell you about today's video. How to turn DJI Pocket 3 into wireless HDMI. Then connect the TV and video switcher. How to turn DJI Pocket 3 into wireless HDMI. Then connect to this TV. Do not pass through HDMI cables. First of all, Pocket 3 doesn't have HDMI output on its own. So you want to convert your Pocket 3 to HDMI first and then Connect the HDMI to another HDMI wireless transmitter. Okay, let's start with the first thing. How to turn DJI Pocket 3 be the output. Let's connect this one first. This is called Fabian USB Webcam Streaming Adapter. Well, here's the USB webcam input here. Then the HDMI output can be connected to the TV. First of all, let's connect this converter first. This DC 5 volt power supply. The source of input for this USB webcam. Let's connect Pocket 3. You see there's a USB-C port on my side. Let's prepare a USB-C to USB a cable. Plug it in like this. Then, then connect to this USB webcam input place. That's it. Enter in like this. That's when Pocket 3 will appear webcam. Just press it and you're good to go. And then you see, where this converter, this light it will appear blue, this way. If there is no blue light, it means that the Pocket 3 is my converter. It's been successfully connected. I'll use the wired one first, and I'll show you first. This is the average screen, and this is the HDMI output. I'm going to connect it like this, yes or not. The DJI Pocket 3 is shown on the TV. Then I'm going to go wireless now. Then I'm going to connect a wireless transmitter. That's it. It's called wireless HDMI transmitter and receiver. You see, he has two cable. This one is DTX. This one is TX. I'm going to TX the place directly. I'm just connected to this converter's HDMI output. This converter needs to be powered. The power source is the interface of USB-A. I'm just connecting to this place storage. That's it. HDMI is then plugged out. At this point, the HDMI output becomes wireless. And then, I'll add the TV in the back. Connect this HDMI receiver. I put this receiver. Connect to the back of this TV screen. The interface of HDMI is here. HDMI receiver requires a 5 volt power supply. If your TV has USB power supply, you just plug it in. If not, you add an additional power supply. Then the output of this HDMI, I just attached it to the back of its S. This way, HDMI input. So we can turn on the TV and take a look. The remote control is turned on. Wait a minute. This thing will do an automatic tandem with him. Let's turn on the sound. Because it's too close, expect to hear echo. Hello! Hello. Hello. No, problem. no problem! Our red converter is a horizontal output by default. That is, 
he is scheduled to eat pocket free. This UVC output is horizontal, then convert to HDMI to come out. Of course, it becomes wireless. There is also an additional HDMI wireless transmitter. Is this white line? Then I'm going to get a demo. If yes, I don't add a TV on the back end. I add video switcher. Is it possible? I'm going to connect to Atom Mini Pro. There is a voice. Hello. 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 No problem. Okay. What you see so far is the horizontal DJI Pocket 3. I convert this screen into a horizontal type, then connect to Atom Mini Pro. What if you're going to put this portrait Pocket 3 today? This converts to HDMI in portrait mode. It's going to turn left and right black bars. Do you see? That's it. Look at this TV screen. He fills in the left and right black borders. He didn't have a way to go full screen. Then our converter is horizontal by default. If you're going to get this display device on the back end today, when it becomes the full screen, you'll need a computer. We have some parameters above. Just do a few settings. Our converter has an output called iOS on IT. Just connect a USB cable. Then connect to your laptop. This is when you open your browser. This one. There are two parameters to change. The first one is resolution. Please change it to vertical for HD. The second one should be turned 90 degrees. This or this. Okay, let's unplug the computer. Put it aside. Let's take a look at how the back and TV will look. It's already 90 degrees, no problem. I'll turn the TV 90 degrees again. Look at my DJI Pocket 3. The vertical screen is displayed on my TV. Take this doll of mine. Wireless transmission to the opposite video switcher. My DJI Pocket 3. This video on the vertical screen, HDMI connected TV that turns into a vertical screen, and it's all over the place. There are no black bars. Then if I'm going to do this live broadcast today, the power source on my side, stream this power bank and you're ready to go. I'm going to turn off the power now. Then this power supply I provide with this power bank. You see there's electricity, and then this side lit up too, no problem. Finally, I'm going to use this red converter with a power bank. Stuff into this bag, I can do live streaming. That's it. GJI Pocket 3. Wirelessly transmitted to the radio or TV screen at the other end. Wireless transmitter for Pocket 3. It's all hidden in this bag. This is how this mobile live broadcast is achieved. Horizontal mode becomes wireless HDMI. Connect to the TV over there. Let's draw a conclusion. The demo of our video today is to introduce you how to transfer your pocket free. It becomes a wireless HDMI broadcast to video switcher on the back end. This transmission, except that it is a horizontal type, it can also be a vertical screen. Then it depends on what you want to do live. Generally speaking, vertical live streaming uses a different converter. We'll fill in the black edges left and right. There will not be any problems with black bars left and right. When you're doing backend ops live streaming, you'll get the highest resolution for your image quality.